Meet Mr. Warren Peace. Warren has just finished administering his district-wide benchmark assessment, commonly known as a benchmark. A benchmark is a standard used to judge performance. Benchmarks indicate the extent to which students have mastered standards targeted for instruction. The central purpose of a benchmark is to provide information to guide instruction. Let's check in as he waits for Ms. Crystal Ball. Hi there, Crystal. I finished administering my first Galileo benchmark, but how does ATI process this information? Are you familiar with the term psychometrics? I've heard this term, but I'm not sure what it means. Psychometrics, the field of study that deals with the theory and technique of measuring knowledge, abilities, and educational achievement. Psychometric techniques guide the construction and validation of measurement instruments, such as the tests used by districts. How does ATI use psychometrics? ATI performs an analysis using psychometric techniques based in item response theory, or IRT, to create ATI scale scores. Item response theory, IRT, a mathematical model of the relationship between performance on a test item and a test taker's level of performance on a scale of the ability, trait, or proficiency being measured. Scale scores are known in Galileo as the Developmental Level Scores, or DL scores, the estimate of a student's ability. Scale score, a score to which raw scores are converted so that scores derived from different tests may be meaningfully compared. IRT takes into account the difficulty of the items when generating the score. Once ATI has the DL scores, the cut scores are set to correspond to the state's achievement levels. Cut score, a specific point on a score scale that defines how student performance is interpreted. Student scores at or above that point are interpreted or acted upon differently than those below that point. Achievement level, descriptions of a test taker's competency in a particular area of knowledge or skill. Achievement levels are usually defined as ordered categories on a continuum, often labeled from basic to advanced or novice to expert, that constitute broad ranges for classifying performance. To establish cut scores, ATI uses equipercentile equating. How does equipercentile equating work? Equipercentile equating sets cut scores that correspond to the same percentile ranks on the benchmark test as on the statewide assessment. For example, if on a particular statewide assessment, 75% of the children meet the standard and the cut score is 366, on the benchmark assessment, the cut score would also be set at 75%, which here is a score of 773. This allows ATI to identify which students are likely to pass the state standardized assessment at the end of the year. Does ATI have the district's state standardized assessment data to run the psychometrics? In most cases, yes. ATI gets your district's state standardized assessment data and aligns it to your benchmark data to generate cut scores for the assessments. This year, our district plans on administering three benchmarks. The questions and standards are not the same on all three. Can I still compare the results from one benchmark to another? Don't worry! You can compare the results from one benchmark test to another even when the questions are not the same. ATI can estimate a student's DL score based on their performance on any set of items that have been shown to be indicators of the ability that the assessment is designed to measure. So if I understand this correctly, the cut scores may change from one test to another. Yes. This is because students are expected to make progress during the year. ATI increases the cut scores on successive tests by the amount of growth students are expected to show during the school year. This raises the bar throughout the year to keep students on track towards passing the statewide test. Wow, there really is a lot that goes on behind the scenes. And as you can imagine, that just scratches the surface. If you want to learn more, there's a lot posted on their website. And of course, you can call your field services coordinator.